A reference electrode is an electrode which has a stable and well-known electrode potential. The high stability of the electrode potential is usually reached by employing a redox system with constant concentrations of each participant of the redox reaction. There are many ways reference electrodes are used. The simplest is when the reference electrode is used as a half cell to build an electrochemical cell. This allows the potential of the other half cell to be determined. An accurate and practical method to measure an electrode's potential in isolation has yet to be developed. Aqueous reference electrodes, common reference electrodes and potential with respect to the standard hydrogen electrode, standard hydrogen electrode activity of H plus equals 1, normal hydrogen electrode concentration H plus equals 1, reversible hydrogen electrode, saturated colomal electrode, copper copper, 2, sulfate electrode, CSE, silver chloride electrode, pH electrode, palladium hydrogen electrode, dynamic hydrogen electrode, mercury mercury sulfate electrode. Non-aqueous reference electrodes, while it is convenient to compare between solvents to qualitatively compare systems it is not quantitatively meaningful. Much as pKa are related between solvents, but not the same, so is the case with A degree. While the she might seem to be a reasonable reference for non-aqueous work as it turns out the platinum is rapidly poisoned by many solvents including acetonitrile causing uncontrolled drifts in potential. Both the SCE and saturated AG GCL are aqueous electrodes based around saturated aqueous solution. While for short periods it may be possible to use such aqueous electrodes as references with non-aqueous solutions the long-term results are not trustworthy. Using aqueous electrodes introduces undefined, variable, and unmeasurable junction potentials to the cell in the form of a liquid-liquid junction as well as different ionic composition between the reference compartment and the rest of the cell. The best argument against using aqueous reference electrodes with non-aqueous systems, as mentioned earlier, is that potentials measured in different solvents are not directly comparable. The potential for the FCO slash plus couple is sensitive to solvent. A quasar reference electrode avoids the issues mentioned above. A curie with ferrocene or similar internal standard referenced back to ferrocene is ideal for non-aqueous work. Since the early 1960s ferrocene has been gaining acceptance as the standard reference for non-aqueous work for a number of reasons, and in 1984, IUPAC recommended ferrocene as a standard redox couple. The preparation of the curie electrode is simple allowing for a fresh reference to be prepared with each set of experiments. Since QREs are made fresh, there is also no concern with improper storage or maintenance of the electrode. QREs are also more affordable than other reference electrodes. To make a quasar reference electrode, insert a piece of silver wire into concentrated HCl then allow the wire to dry on a lint-free cleaning cloth. This forms an insoluble layer of AgCl on the surface of the electrode and gives you an Ag AgCl wire. Repeat dipping every few months or if the curie starts to drift. Obtain a vico glass frit and glass tubing of similar diameter. Attach vico glass frit to the glass tubing with heat shrink Teflon tubing. Rinse then fill the clean glass tube with supporting electrolyte solution and insert Ag AgCl wire. The ferrocene couple should lie around 400 MV versus this AG AGCL curie in an astonitrile solution. This potential will vary up to 200 MV with the specific undefined conditions. Thus adding an internal standard such as ferrocene at some point during the experiment is always necessary. Pseudo-reference electrodes A pseudo-reference electrode is a term that is not well defined and borders on having multiple meanings since pseudo and quasi are often used interchangeably. They are a class of electrodes named pseudo-reference electrodes because they do not maintain a constant potential but vary predictably with conditions. If the conditions are known, the potential can be calculated and the electrode can be used as a reference. Most electrodes work over a limited range of conditions, such as pH or temperature, outside of this range the electrode's behavior becomes unpredictable. The advantage of a pseudo-reference electrode is that the resulting variation is factored into the system allowing researchers to accurately study systems over a wide range of conditions. Yttria-stabilized zirconium membrane electrodes were developed with a variety of redox couples, for example, NiNiO. 
their potential depends on pH. When the pH value is known, these electrodes can be employed as a reference with notable applications at elevated temperatures. See also, cyclic voltammetry, working electrode, auxiliary electrode, table of standard electrode potentials. Further reading, Ives, David J.G. George J. Jans. Reference Electrodes, Theory and Practice. Academic Press. Zanillo, P. Inorganic Electrochemistry, Theory, Practice, and Application. Royal Society of Chemistry. ISBN 0-85404-661-5. Bard, Alan J. Larry R. Faulkner. Electrochemical Methods, Fundamentals and Applications. Wiley. ISBN 0-471-04372-9. References. External links, Carbon Graphene Nina Fiber Junction Reference Electrode. The Ideal Reference Electrode, Care of Vicar a Registered Trademark Porous Glass Fritz